Ladies and gentlemen, to the Olympus Sky for another fresh and exciting video. And uh, this one particularly exciting because I'm 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 having a near stroke here. It's it's it's, it's impossible. It's crazy. I I don't understand. Um, it's this image is three years old. And now what is this image? Okay, cool. You don't know what I'm talking about. Let's go over this really quickly. Uh, July 17 posted here, and um, you know uh, we all know that Horizon just arrived at Pluto not too long ago. And it's all big hype and all crazy this and that and uh, yeah i've checked it out here and there but uh yeah what i found here is pretty crazy but let's go over this let's check it out it is recent um by the lorry um july on july 14 here distance 77,000 kilometers 48,000 miles and um the blocky appearance of this feature is due to compression of the image yeah i agree and it's mad it's so mad it's it's basically useless uh, we will talk about it in the next video i really have to get some stuff off my chest as well um it's it's you guys need to know the truth you know i'm, I'm so tired of it but uh, let, let's get into this so please do watch the second video please share this one people have to know this we have to think about this question about this so okay i've checked out i've the, 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 the taken out the information out of this image i went over it um, this is called XMP data. I'll, I'll explain you shortly in a moment what that exactly is. Um, here we have the first block. So we got here. We this is the history. This is uh, everything that has been done to this image. You can see right here. Okay, when we look at this, you got the STEVT when is. We got a date here and we got a time with standing a T in between here. That stands for time. You can see that it says created here. It shows. Uh, that Adobe Photoshop CS5 was used on the Mac, which for 2012 wouldn't be that crazy. I think CS6 came out that year somewhere, uh, which is which is good, which is uh, which really is an indication that there's something going on there. So okay, we got a timestamp here. Then it was it was created. Then it was saved, and it's pretty hard to, to show this to you guys. Please forgive me for any mistakes. Um, again, you can see by the timestamp here, this guy was messing around with his image for 15 minutes. Now, I think that 15 minutes is quite a long time for this kind of image, though. Um, it's it's pretty normal when you see this, like the way the, uh, where the image was, um, you know, created doesn't mean it's hoaxed, faked, or created out of thin air. It just means that that, that project has started. And so NASA does not use JPEG, TIFF files, BMPs, send them over space. They have their own file formats, their own ways of transmitting an image, um, you know, the most efficiently. That's a huge distance between uh, between Pluto and the Earth. And I'm quite surprised of some of the uh, images, the quality of them. And then you look at curios Curiosity, you're just blatantly disappointed. But that's another topic. So, okay. 2012 created. Okay, NASA, okay something is definitely not right there i uh, got the numbers everything here we'll check out because new horizon couldn't be there with the speeds that they've given us you name it so i went even that far to calculate the average speed of the thing where it should be so so it's it's man I, <laughs> this really throws me off here so someone then in 2015 like a day before release of that article picked it up he picked it up and um you know saved converted it converted as you can see what, what we what we are reading here is the uh, vnd.adobe.photoshop this means that it was a photoshop file and then the photoshop the psd file was converted to uh, got one here as you can see this is a psd file um so the interesting part here is that it then was converted to a JPEG. Okay, I can understand that and we'll get tomorrow or when that video, yeah, probably I must do this video tomorrow. That's really some stuff I have to get off my chest. So, okay, um, converted, derived. Okay, now we got a JPEG, saved, you name it. Now, the problem is there's between these two blocks here, um, you can see that there's a massive, massive five hour difference here. You cannot tell me that this image took you five hours to work with. Seriously, man. If you've converted it and you've, you've created this kind of compression, what were you doing in those five hours? It was converted once in this conversion. It should like, let me show you here. Uh, this is actually crazy. We'll get into that tomorrow. This, this is pretty crazy. Um, JPEG compression six. So 12 is max and it has been saved at 50% quality. Yet this is kind of 
crazier than 50% quality. Um, this, it can't be registered, regi registered here twice, like if he saved it twice, uh, like downgraded it or did it three times, I don't know. But my question is here is, what were you doing in those five hours after the conversion of the image? And what's created here, apparently it, uh, it yeah, it's, I think this guy saved a PSD file. That's what that that that's what we're seeing here. Sorry, you know, it's like I said, a really tough video, and there's so much things going. I'm trying to break my mind over this, but I'm quite positive this guy here created a PSD file, then converted it to a JPEG. But you name it, what was this guy doing five hours long? How is it possible that this image was created or this this project in 2012? How is that possible? This image was just released. It's new. They said it themselves. They gave us the distances here. It, 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 this is the distance from uh, where the image was taken. Okay, <clears throat> let's let's go to the next step. Maybe you're still not convinced. I don't know how you can't be convinced. It's all official. You all get the links down in the description. And um, here again, just just quick before we get into. Um, the other stuff here and just just try and calculate this is the photo forensic i like i mean i don't know if i said it already in this video but it's it's a great thing to start not really a fan of it but uh, you know got my own things but it's it's a great thing to get into um this one is a bit less complex than the one i've shown you here uh you can see the create date was on 2012 so we got a separate different entity thing website here confirming the same thing we've just seen in my little plugin so it's it's actually in that image um that's another thing a theory what i was thinking about could there just be possibly a computer at nasa with having the wrong date in the computer in 2012 there are no more computers that have a battery in the in the computer he had a Macintosh, he used uh, adobe uh, cc 2014 and cs5 that was not a basic computer that was not a cheap computer you get for fifty dollars that computer does not have an internal battery so it, it can't reset the time so okay let's say something happened and the time got reset oh, i dare you yourself to set your time back either in the bios or in windows not sure if that's still possible in windows uh, it wasn't in in the past but i don't know probably yes Try and change your date. Try and even access YouTube. YouTube won't allow you with the correct date. All your software will get messed up. Everything. You cannot have a false date on a NASA computer. This, so that's that's out of the window. We got an image here from 2012, but they said they just made it. They ju we just arrived on Pluto. You know my problem here? I'm sorry, you know what? It is just mad, you know, mad. I can understand the kind of compression going on here, but, but it's these dates here that really throw me off. Um, okay, so I went went further. Well, I went further. Let me see what uh, what I wanted to show you. What I did. Okay, the 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 uh, mission was launched in 2006. Uh, New Horizon, this that. Let me see. New Horizon, this that. Yeah, just just a wiki article here. Um, so supposedly it's on 12,000 kilometers on 14. Well, it's not entirely accurate. It's, it's still Wikipedia, but it was uh, the launch date. We can expect that there was accuracy. It's 2006. So what I did, let me go back. I forgot to organize properly. Just Googled anything here. And I took this article. It's actually pretty neat. Uh, the distance from Earth to Pluto is about 5 billion kilometers. So we got here. Um, it was launched 85,000, 28,000. Um, passing the sun at 160,000. We've got six numbers here of speed. I took these numbers, I took all these six numbers, added them up, spliced them by six, got an average number of 74,000. What I did, 74,000 times 24 hours is di this, um, this much distance it will traverse in a day on average. Really rough numbers here. But yeah, you know, I was trying to check this out. What is the distance? Where should it be? Would it be possible to take it, um, you know, just, just by sheer um, viewing here? Where would it be? Would it be here? Would it be possible to take an image like that one? Because it is might look really bad, but to see such a such a small rock, I mean, it's it's obviously big. Look at uh, look at the thing here. Um, yeah, it's I don't know, man. I really don't know. 
I have no idea what the, what the hell is going on. I'm hearing music in the background. Please don't ban me, YouTube. <laughs> Copyright police and such. Um, I think that's it. And I don't know. What, what do you think? What do you think? Because I, I just don't know. 2012 is something going on. They just arrived in 2015. Did I make a huge mistake in here? Did I miss something in the news? Um, when did it arrive? Well, I mean, it's even the Wikipedia article has been updated, you know, uh, arrived here. And you need 77,000 kilometers for that image. That's that's what they told us. That's what they told us, you know. So, yeah, if that thing goes with an average of 70,000 kilometers, by this time it's going 40,000. You can easily say, like, uh, basing uh, based off the Wikipedia article. Should have managed it just a bit. Like uh, two hours before this uh, closest approach, the image was taken. So, and nothing makes sense. Nothing makes sense. Absolutely not. It does not make sense. The, the, is it true? Were they really there in 2012? Would it be possible? That, I don't know. Maybe they have like a faster engine than they told us. It's, I don't know, it's a bit far-fetched, at least for me. It really is. I mean, there's a lot of things involved with those things, amazing machinery, and it's 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 quite crazy. There's a lot of people working on it. Um, related speed kilometers per this and that, set to rec Yeah, okay. I'm going to finish the video here. Hope you liked the video. Is that music still in the background? Well, no epic tune for me leaving here. See you in the, in the next video, which you have to check out as well. I really have to. I really want to do this. Um, I'm quite stressed about this video. I'm quite stressed about the next video. Uh, this is this. I'm, I'm just human, you know. I do have feelings, and uh, I, my mind is exploding here. And um, I'm so curious what you think, guys. I'm so curious about your your response and your reaction to this. Uh, thank you so much for listening. And definitely leave that comment, like, subscribe and share this if you can. Um, I can't explain this. I can't. <laughs>